Russia's Iskander missile systems successfully destroyed US-supplied HIMARS launchers used by Ukrainian forces in the recent attack on Sevastopol. The Russian Defense Ministry has confirmed this. The June 23rd assault resulted in four fatalities, including two children and over 150 injuries. The ministry released footage purportedly showing the destruction of the M142 HIMARS multiple rocket launchers, which were allegedly equipped with ATACMS missiles. These launchers, according to the ministry, were employed by Ukrainian forces during the strike on Sevastopol. Unmanned aerial vehicles from the Russian armed forces reportedly detected the movement of three HIMARS launchers, which had taken concealed positions in a forested area near Klapaya in the Kherson region. The Iskander missile crews then targeted and destroyed these positions, eliminating three launchers and up to 10 foreign specialists involved in their operation. The Ukrainian forces attack on Sevastopol involved eight ACMS missiles with cluster warheads supplied by the US, while four of these missiles were intercepted. One was deflected and detonated over the city, causing significant casualties and damage. A missile strike by the Iskander AM Operational Tactical Missile System targeted a Ukrainian Armed Forces convoy near Stetskovka in the Sumy region as detected by reconnaissance. The strike reportedly resulted in the destruction of an AFU artillery ammunition depot, 20 military vehicles transporting ammunition and personnel, and the deaths of up to 65 AFU soldiers. Units of the Russian Aerospace Forces executed an attack using Su-25 aircraft, targeting a Ukrainian stronghold and personnel within the Vostok Group's area of responsibility. The strike, conducted with unguided aircraft missiles at specified coordinates, involved anti-missile maneuvers and the release of heat traps before the aircraft returned to their base. Reports from forward aircraft gunners indicated that all designated targets were successfully hit. The mission proceeded as planned, resulting in the destruction of special equipment and Ukrainian personnel. Reuters reported that the US has acknowledged that it had approved Ukraine's request to use US-supplied weapons for strikes on Russian forces, with the condition that these strikes would be limited to border areas such as Kharkiv. Secretary of State Antony Blinken confirmed this authorization, stating that the decision was made to help Ukraine defend against Russian aggression. During a press conference following an informal NATO foreign ministers meeting in Prague, Blinken emphasized the importance of adapting US support to battlefield conditions. He stressed the need to provide Ukraine with necessary systems, weapons, training and capacity building to ensure effective use and maintenance of the supplied armaments. Blinken also highlighted NATO allies' increasing efforts to support Ukraine, noting recent commitments from the Netherlands and Germany to supply additional Patriot air defense systems. Furthermore, he mentioned the Czech Republic's initiative to form a coalition to urgently supply artillery shells to the Ukrainian armed forces. Russian President Vladimir Putin has repeatedly cautioned Western nations against forming alliances with Ukraine and launching strikes against Russia, warning of serious repercussions. On June 8th, a wave of deadly strikes hit several cities across Ukraine, killing and injuring numerous civilians, including children. Kyiv suffered 
repeated strikes that impacted several residential homes and a private hospital, causing heavy damage to another children's hospital in the center while children were receiving treatment. Ukrainian President Zelensky reacted to the attack, which coincided with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's two-day visit to Russia. In a post on X, accompanied by pictures of the Kyiv attack, Zelensky criticized the meeting, stating it was a devastating blow to peace efforts. He expressed his dismay at seeing the leader of the world's largest democracy embracing a criminal in Moscow on such a day. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg met with US Defense Minister Austin in Washington for the NATO summit. He condemned the recent missile attacks against Ukrainian cities, killing innocent civilians, including children. Stoltenberg indicated that at the summit, allies will make decisions to further bolster NATO's support for Ukraine. He reiterated the summit's aim to enhance support for Ukraine and warned Russia that they cannot simply wait out the conflict. In Ukraine, Russia continues its brutal uh, war. Only today we have seen horrendous missile um, attacks against uh, Ukrainian cities, killing innocent civilians, including children. I condemn these heinous uh, attacks. At the summit, we'll make decisions to further strengthen our support to Ukraine and uh, uh, the Russia must understand that they are not able to wait those out. Uh, they need to uh, sit down and accept a solution where Ukraine prevails as a sovereign independent nation. This brutal incident occurred just a day before NATO leaders were scheduled to convene in Washington to demonstrate their solidarity with Ukraine. The attack is widely seen as a stark warning from Russia against continued Western support for Ukraine.